Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 13 on my Arsenal Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. So right here, surprisingly, Arsenal propose contract renewal talks. It's very, very early. If you just check where we are right now, uh, we are in first. Every single team has played the 10 games. Uh, some bigger teams dropping points like Man City, uh, Liverpool actually getting back up there now. Uh, even Chelsea, they're struggling. They actually lost their last game, both Man City and Chelsea. It will go to recent fixtures. Just so I can update you, I'm sure you guys uh, would like to see that. So you be aware of the results, recent results. So we'll go back to uh, here. You can see Tottenham, they're doing pretty well. Harry Kane and also Andros Townsend scoring in the second half to make it 2-0. Uh, but as I said, Liverpool, they had a big victory. Also, I noticed Callum Wilson is scoring fairly regularly. He's 23, so he probably won't improve majorly a little bit, most definitely. I'm just wondering, yeah, would he be a good signing? Because his English, obviously, will be good for homegrown. But would he be that level? Obviously, he's got the good pace, good strength. So leave your feedback if you think he'd be a good signing for like a top four team. Uh, but also go to go more back here. You can see Sunderland actually beat Chelsea because John Terry got an early red card. Maybe he's just getting a bit older. But look how good his mentals are. Because uh, obviously in real life, he's still kind of competing. So they wanted to reflect that in game. Obviously, yeah, he wouldn't be that quick now. Uh, but he's still a quality defender. But you can see him getting a red card affected their chance. Uh, so they're doing pretty badly, not as bad as real life, but in Football Manager, you'd expect them to do a bit better. But because we're outright first now, after 10 games, uh, got the best goal difference as well. So that would be important. Still close to Man City, obviously, but important game that Man City lost for us. But So now going back to the message, and when it's this early and when it's a team I want to have, obviously, a long career with, I'll just go... I accept it. I just accept the current vision. All of that is good. Play attacking football, play possession football, develop young players. So that suits me as well. That's why I chose Arsenal because I knew their expectations would be something I like to do. Just um, yeah, develop youth players, play possession football, play attacking football. And that's my kind of style. So even with the wages as well, just whatever they offer me, four years, I will most definitely take that. I'll suggest the terms and finalize the deal. Just all happy. Maybe you could go to ask for more money, but there's no reason to argue with that. Four years um, to the end of 2019, uh, that season, and that could be the duration maybe of this series. If you think about my Manchester United series in FM15, it went about four seasons. So yeah, that could be, yeah basically be my tenure uh, to have that long contract and to have that secured would be very amazing. So there we go, guys. That is finalized. So I was really happy about that to, yeah, sign away my future almost uh, with Arsenal to, yeah, June 2019. I'm happy with that contract. And we've got a phone call here. So uh, we're going to answer basically Lee Turner. What does he have to say? He says, you've just signed a new contract at Arsenal for the foreseeable future. You must be delighted to have concluded this deal, especially this early as well. Yeah, uh, delighted. There, that's all he wanted to know. I <laughs> just want to say, absolutely delighted with that. Uh, so I won't have to worry about working to deserve a new contract. I already got that really, really early. Pretty long contract. Obviously, they're happy with what I'm doing. And uh, now we have to go on uh, to fight for the title in a great position early. So guys, you can see the results of this week's game. Man City beat Liverpool. So they had to win that to keep putting the pressure on us. And they're back in first. But... Any result we get, if we can get a draw, we'll still go back top. But obviously, want to win today uh, with our game against Tottenham. Tottenham have been getting good results as well. But it's Man United, again, not being able to get the victory. Everton uh, were able to hold on for a draw. So we'll go into our game. And don't forget, our next game, we've got another Champions League game against Gladbach, this time away from home. So we couldn't even beat them at home. So pressure's on there. But if somehow we can yeah, drag out the win, it'll be really confidence-boosting. But saying that, the confidence is already boosted. So it'll be more just to put us in a great position uh, in the Champions League uh, group stage, but this is huge. If you can get the victory here against Tottenham, a team that's playing pretty well, got some results against some big teams like Man City, so not going to be easy. Also, Theo Walcott's going to be playing out on the left. We're training him actually in that inside forward on the left, so he can become a bit better, especially while we had injuries uh, to guys like Sanchez, who's made the bench today actually, but still Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, 
He come back from his injury. Ramsey picked up a little knock as well. And Santi Cazorla is still out. So we're missing a lot of important players to the first team still. Sanchez will ease his way in, maybe come off the bench, give him that match sharpness, and he'll be all right. But yeah, Theo Walker on superb morale. So not playing his best role in terms of the ability, uh, but he can play on the wing on the left side. So he should be able to get the job done. And there we go. And from now, um, in this save anyway, I've changed my computer settings uh, to high performance. So there should be maybe less lag if people notice that, like in terms of delay when you click on a player or something or just general processing. I went from balanced to high performance in my computer options. So yeah, that's all right. So in terms of opposition instructions, we've definitely got to be careful here. You've got a guy like Harry Kane, you want a tight mark, we'll show him to weaker foot as well. Any dangerous wingers who, yeah, Andros Townsend, same boat. We'll tight mark and show him to weaker foot because he's, yeah, dangerous winger. And with Christian Eriksen, actually, we'll just, yeah, close him down. I think that would be the best option for him. And Son Hyung Min, uh, Song Hyun Min, uh, he's very good finishing and he's pacey. So definitely he's a guy we want to close down. We'll just close him down. We won't do tight marking for him. I will just shine to weak his foot. So just, yeah, I'm still experimenting with options there, but we'll roll with those. And you can see uh, with ourselves performing well, but also myself uh, signing a new contract, that will improve the morale of some players, I am sure. So here we'll go passionately. Or oh, this is one to do for the fans, most definitely. Arsenal v Tottenham, obviously a big game fans want to see, and you can get a good reaction there as well. This is the kind of occasion where you say for the fans, um, where the players will get a good reaction when it is actually a kind of rival game. It's where you want to you want to win this game, obviously, for the fans, and the players are up for it most definitely. So hopefully we'll be able to get the best out of them for today's game. That's what I always strive to do with my teams. They've still got Mason in midfield. Um, he's not completely world-class, even Danny Rose. So they've got some weaknesses, and I feel our team is pretty strong. And we defended that really well. Gabbiadini, Mason now. It's Bentaleb. Bentaleb Kane. We defended that really, really well. Now we have an opportunity to counter. Olivier Giroud. It's a through ball to Giroud. And Giroud, he is through. And he finds the back of the net. And that's his 50th league goal for Arsenal. But how about the ball from Gabbiadini? That's probably what you would not expect from Giroud. Like the style you, you would play for him. Like through ball over the top. He's not the paciest striker in the world, but the ball was so good in front of him in his stride. And Giroud, with the form he's on right now, he's not going to be missing those opportunities. Defenders didn't look likely, and goalkeeper didn't either. So a fantastic start, early goal in the game. And Oliver Giroud, he's just in the form of his life. He, he can't stop scoring. And he doesn't look like he's going to be stopping anytime soon. So we've got to take advantage of that right now. Maybe he won't be on this form for the whole season. He probably won't for the whole season. Just being honest. Oh, Walcott. 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 <laughs> See, he's so good. Yeah, cutting in from that left side. Uh, to me, he's probably more natural as a winger. But we're teaching him that inside forward role on the left. He'll cut in on his right. He can be a danger. Now it's Giroud. 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 Oh, almost. How close was that? That was so close. Could have been 2-0 really early, and it could have been the game over this early. So here we go. It's Danny Rose on the ball. He throws it back to Fazio. Now Fazio to Danny Rose. Mason. You've got to make sure they don't score, most definitely, after we just had a great opportunity. Murdersack and Kashalny. I reckon those two are our best, our best two for a partnership. Kashalny definitely in there. Um, he's obviously will be partnered with someone else as the best. But Murdasaka, yeah, he's starting well uh, to the season. I think he had a bit of injury trouble early, uh, becoming fit. But now he is. Um, yeah, he's kind of settling in for the season. But now it's Townsend. Check makes an important save. So, guys, not too much else happening uh, for a while here, which is good. But I would like a second goal. Um, it's good to see Tottenham not really having too many chances. They've had a couple, but nothing too dangerous. No clicker chances yet. Oh, and Son gives away a penalty. And it's going to be Mikel Arteta, the captain of Arsenal, to step up and hopefully find the back of the net. And he does. Makes it 2-0, 39 minute. And we look good uh, to push on in this game uh, for another three points to take back that first position from City. 
But Mikel Arteta, real, some people might think, yeah, you 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 might second think his future at Arsenal. Well, I got to think about that as well. But right now, this season, he's been good for us. Um, he's been creating in midfield, and you know he can step up and score from the spot. But yeah, really good captain for us, and he's shown that on the pitch. Not being our best player, but he hasn't been well, definitely not the worst. He's just a really important player for us. Yep, I'm very happy with that performance. There we go. And also, Giroud, I have to praise him in some way, surely. I'll say calmly, I'm very happy with your performance so far today. There you go. <laughs> and he looks happy. So get a better action there. Maybe he can score another in the second half. So here, Gabidini finds Meza Ozil. Ozil. Oh, Giroud, he does. I was not expecting. You don't generally score early with that first attempt, but we do. Oliver Giroud. Like, I told you, no one can stop him. That is ridiculous. He scored, what? It was like... 20 seconds in, 17 seconds, 18 seconds into the second half. Nah, that is silly. That is silly how we're performing and how he's performing right now. We're just in a perfect patch. You're not going to have this patch for a whole season, uh, but when you're in it, you've got to take advantage of it. And we most definitely are right now. So Arteta on the ball. Or oh, Bentaleb, surely that's a free. What does it say? Oh, two feet. That's going to be a red. Or it has a chance to be. Nabil Mentaleb. Oh. Uh, Bentaleb, <laughs> he gets a red card. Should we take advantage of this now and actually go attacking? We'll go attacking and maybe we'll go more direct passing. Just, yeah, completely go for it. Go for a higher defensive line. Slightly, yeah, go slightly higher. But yeah, how we're playing right now is absolutely perfect. We're just dominating teams. And uh, Tottenham, a side who beat Man City and who's had a really good season so far, I just really want to take it to them now and go for a big result. Hopefully we could. Oh, no, Harry Kane is through. Harry Kane is through. <laughs> maybe, maybe I did get a bit excited. Maybe I did get a bit carried away there because I just wanted to go maybe try and get a really big outstanding result. Harry Kane, oh, that was a good finish from there. For the goalkeeper to get beaten has to be a good strike, and it was. Yeah, but we'll, we'll maintain because we, we got the extra man. We got the extra man now. Of course, we could have settled like on 3 0. But yeah, I thought we could go for another goal. Well, yeah, for the rest of the game. Keep going. But maybe we'll just substitute. Yeah, the other option here is to keep players fresh. Uh, uh, Giroud, you could keep him on for a hat trick. But you could be responsible at the same time. And we'll bring on Joel Campbell. Obviously, Giroud would love to get a hat trick, but don't want him to get injured. Just got to keep him. Um, fairly fit. How about Joel Campbell as striker? Or would Theo Walker be better? Well, he would. And Joel Campbell, yeah, stays a decent role suitability on the left. So we'll try that, actually. Yeah, uh, Theo Walker. So yeah, Giroud can score as a poacher. It doesn't really matter his role, I think, Giroud. Of course, it still does matter, but poacher, advance forward, complete forward. He's just scoring. He's just yeah, finishing the opportunities. And maybe Debushi, and we'll bring on Hector Ballerin, who has superb morale. So it'll be good for him to come on. You know he is that attacking fullback, so he'll suit the way we're trying to play for the rest of the game. And go assertively, have faith in you. Uh, seem deep in thought. Those you get those reactions a lot. It's I don't think it's neither bad or good. It's just neutral. Uh, they're just yeah, they're deep in thought, um, as it suggests. So here we go. Our uh, 70th minute here. Will be interesting if it's, a, if it's a chance for them. Maybe we'll have to go back just trying to control the game because Harry Kane could be on again. Harry Kane. They did go close. Don't forget, they've got a red card and they're still creating opportunities. No. <laughs> but Ballerin, this is where surely we have to flourish. Look, play the ball. Don't be selfish. Play the ball at the right time. Play the ball at the right time. <laughs> And Joel Campbell, that was a really, really weird piece of play. I thought, yeah, he could have played it a bit earlier, Ballerin, but obviously it ended in a goal, so I can't complain, I suppose. I just felt, yeah, could have played it a bit earlier before a bit more pressure came on there uh, to Walcott. And But how Walcott did not score that is beyond me. But Joel Campbell was there to apply the finish. And he's scoring pretty regularly now, Joel Campbell. He's, yeah, he's becoming part of the squad. He's becoming part of the first team as well. So who else can we substitute here? Anyone on the bench that needs game time? Well, yeah, Sanchez, like I mentioned. So late in the game is ideal. Not going to play, yeah, too much. Mesa Ozil, let's try Sanchez in behind there. To me, Sanchez could play any of those positions. 
in the attacking uh, four, from attacking midfield to the wings uh, to striker. He's just yeah, quality player, and he looks happy coming on. It's a good time frame for him to come on, just 15 minutes, and Christian Eriksen gets injured for them. So, yeah, pretty convincing result here today. And 4-1, um, obviously, if, it, if I didn't go attacking, maybe if I just held on for the 3-0, kept controlling the game. But we still could have scored, but maybe they wouldn't have scored another... But for me, uh, 4-1 looks a bit more beefy <laughs> than 3-0. Just, yeah, obviously score the one more goal. Would have loved to keep a clean sheet, but again, uh, we still get the three points, uh, plus three goal difference as well. So uh, that's the most important thing. And we get back that first position, and we're looking good. Player of the match, Gabby Adini. How about, yeah, how is he going? He's really stepping up, proving like an amazing signing. And Giroud, well, he just can't be stopped. And you can see our dominance in the league right now. Five matches, one in a row. Started with Swansea, 4-0. Then Leicester, 2-1. Away from home. Stoke, 2-1. Man United, a 3-1 result away from home. And then just now, Tottenham beating them 4-1 in probably one of our most convincing performances of the season. Giroud with 13 goals so far. How many can he get this season? Does, you can't stop him. You can't stop him at the minute. So guys, time for the next game now in this episode against Gladbach. Important game. You can see uh, we've had basically the same Champions League campaign so far, winning the one game and drawing the two. So really, I want to be winning this, even though it's away from home against them. We weren't able to beat them just not long ago in the previous episode. Nil-nil at home, but you just look at the results. I feel we need to win it. If we have one win and three draws, it doesn't look that good, but... I just got to play it as is, and we'll go into uh, the team lineup, and you can see I'm going with the exact same starting 11 uh, that we went in last time out against Tottenham, uh, everyone on superb morale, I just don't feel anyone deserves to be dropped, of course, condition, you might want to keep players fit, but where's the next game, yeah, Liverpool five days away, and then we've got international break, so yeah, we've got time to recover there. So I just don't feel anyone deserves to be substituted out and not anyone's under below 90% condition. So that is okay. And we're favorites to win the game. So hopefully we can take it to them. That's maybe been the problem. Maybe away from home haven't been the best at home. We've been excellent without a doubt. And they're playing a very weird formation. I've never seen this one before. They're playing with the flat four at the back. That's normal. But then they're playing wing backs. That's a very interesting approach, but obviously maybe they've seen us play and they want to think how they can prevent. It says right midfield and left midfield, but they're very, they're very retreated. So maybe yeah, they're not actually wing backs, but maybe they're playing that defensive winger role. But either way, they're still uh, very retreated and defensive midfielders as well. It looks like a very defensive lineup. So either way, they should be, uh, yeah, especially at home. You thought, but maybe yeah, maybe they can see how well we're playing. So we're going to go here. We're going to say assertively, I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep a good run going. Because we are on a good run, that makes sense. And we'll go assertively, uh, where are we? Assertively, I have faith in you. Just give confidence. And you can see, yeah, very happy reactions for the defenders. Uh, some midfielders as well. And then Giroud for the striker. And yeah, I'm still trying to mess with what's the best role. Um, as you know, um, we'll go to the... Advanced Tactics, he's on poacher. We've been training him on complete forward, but you saw in the previous game, he knows how to score as a poacher. So a real test here uh, to see, yeah, if this is going to be a good role for him to play and maybe then have to train up or change up the training, uh, just train that role of a poacher then. If he's scoring, he's scoring whatever role we play him, I suppose. He's a complete forward or poacher. So we'll see what will be best. It's Shaka U. Falls to Debushi. A bit of luck there, I suppose, with the shot. Mikala Teta sprays that wide to Walcott. Walcott just running at the defense. Walcott running at the defense. Walcott running at the defense. Can he strike? Oh, good effort. I like to see that getting it on target and not blazing it over the bar. I guess it goes down as a wasted chance, but he got his shot on target. That's what I want to be seeing, not blazing over the bar. That's I get so mad when I see that when they're dribbling and they just um, yeah blaze away like that. Come on, clear this. Oh, Petr Cech makes an important save. I thought that was going to be a goal. So he saved us here. Gabbiadini heads away. That's another thing he's good at. He can defend. 
uh, from corners, set piece, that kind of situation. Uh, good in the air. Good enough anyway. Herman uh, wasted that opportunity uh, for Gladbach there. They want to be winning, like the same as us, but I'm not sure if they're trying to win it. Um, with the way they're playing the same as us. Maybe they'll be content with a draw, considering their position. Oh, no, Azard, That was coming. Patrick Herman. I hate conceding for set pieces, um, especially corners. Uh, corners are very, very frustrating to concede from. Like, I always say, I always keep to that. I feel they're defendable. You shouldn't be conceding from corners. You should be... <laughs> you should be defending them. Really disappointing to concede from a set piece. And I don't want to say it's our performance. That was just a set piece and they scored from it. So I don't want to say we play worse away from home. That's not the case. We just conceded a goal from a corner. It's not truly yeah, reflecting like we're worse away from home. Uh, we're going to see how we go for the rest of the half though. Debushi finds Gabbiadini. Play the ball through or back to Coughlin. Oh, he just... Are you serious? What was that? <laughs> That's so frustrating to see. Murdersaka wins ahead header, though. Gabbiadini to Arteta in midfield. Oh, again, it's a wasted ball. It's crazy. You're playing the same team as we just played. Oh, what's happening? Why? 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 It makes no sense sometimes. We just dominated Tottenham like this. Same team. Same way of playing. And it's just completely different. It's completely different. Um, you can say that is a good now for them. It's not just a corner. Uh, was that highlight? Okay, highlight right away. Let's see if we can get it back right away. Could change this game up, maybe. Gabbiadini. Debushi in space to cross this. <laughs> or not. Or just to give it away. Coquelin. Now Mikel Arteta. He's going to be in space. Now it's Giroud. Giroud. Okay, we still have the opportunity. And that's what I don't want to see. Quick... Uh, Team talk we'll go with. We'll go assertively. Show some passion. Because they're not doing it at the minute. Uh, they're not playing for the shirt. Um, they're becoming complacent. Um, I can feel that in the game at the minutes. And Leon, at least, they're winning, I suppose. If that more, but no, this is not good. We cannot lose this game. Well, we can lose it. I don't want to. Ooh... Okay, because oh, oh, with that game against Tottenham, I really was eyeing two big wins here. It would be, yeah, very, very, very positive it would be. We'll go attacking now, I guess. Just play a bit more attacking game. Um, maybe hit some early crosses in. Just got to change things up a little bit. Maybe got to be a bit more direct. I like going, yeah, more direct uh, when we are not winning, when we're behind, especially like this. Maybe need to roam from positions a bit more. And change it up. But wow, what a different, just a different game this was. Um, same players. The only thing, they had a little bit less condition. But at the start of the game, yeah, conditions, even the conditions now are fine. They're good enough. But wow. But obviously, yeah, conceding a goal uh, from a corner would put you, uh, put you a bit um, behind the eight ball, obviously. Um, and the player, your players won't be happy about that. And I'm not happy about that either. We'll go aggressive. Uh, come on, lads, show a bit of desire. You don't look like a team that wants to win. Um, that couldn't be any more true. And they're all motivated and fired up. We're going attacking in the second half. It's just up to the lads, see if they want to win. Do they want to win? We know the way we're playing right now is good football. So now it's in the players' hands. Because you know our tactic formation, way of playing is yeah all good. We've shown that this season. With being first in the league and Giroud wastes another chance. If that was another game, that would have been in back of the net. Like the last game, we had that opportunity um, right away in the first half and we, or the second half coming in from half time and we scored. And now they've got another set piece. Please, oh, they're going to be a great chance. They're going to be a great chance. And I, I'm just feeling it. It's going to come. It's Stindl, it's Raphael, and it's one of those games in Football Manager. It just, <laughs> you could not see this coming. It's out of the blue. And yeah, wow. I'm shocked. I'm completely shocked. But I could tell it was coming. I've said it before. Like, I can tell when I'm going to concede in Football Manager. I just know the situation and the time and everything like that. But, <laughs> like, what do you do here? Like... This team, this 11, killed it last time out. 
we killed it last time out and so this puts this episode in like a weird kind of category now we had one great win and then one really disappointing performance come on maybe a goal back to give us some hope Giroud 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 had to do a lot there all himself 14th of the season and Arteta with the assist with the great ball over the top but look he still had a lot to do Giroud look at that he had to just move across there to get in good position then yeah struck it low and hard and maybe does give us some hope but we may have to make some changes our attacking players haven't had really a good game so maybe someone like a Gabby Adini is going to come off and we're going to bring on Alexis Sanchez so now yeah uh, Meza Ozil on the same oh yeah Ozil and Sanchez um, on at the same time and Theo Walker maybe not having the best of games so we'll bring on actually we're going to bring on Aaron Ramsey here and no, that's not going to work. Sorry. I thought we could change something up. Now, Theo Walcott, bring on the right side where he is a bit more natural and maybe play him in a more familiar role. Winger on attack. And same with Sanchez, inside forward attack. We've got to yeah, definitely go for this now. There we go. More suitable roles for some players. And uh, Mikhail Arteta just created that as... Oh, Francis Coughlin, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to go this way. We're going to be a bit more... We're going to play with no ball winning midfielder. Ramsey can be more the creative or advanced playmaker and on attack as well. So there we go. Really, yeah, really pushing for this now. And the fullbacks, yeah, get him on attack. There we go. Fullback on attack. And yeah, should be looking for those players to get forward. And hopefully, and maybe also, obviously Giroud has been scoring as a poacher, but maybe to his role being training complete forward. There we go. Make those changes and see if how that's going to yeah, how that's going to impact us. So Sanchez uh, looking happy coming on and also Aaron Ramsey, he seemed deep in thought. So we're going to need a crazy 30 minutes here. You wouldn't put us well, we wouldn't put it past us how we played this season. And then we'll go with a general team talk as well. We'll go assertively encourage and you can see that it uh, offer encouragement to your players to boost their morale. That's what we need at the minute, being behind, and hopefully it is effective. Uh, we'll, okay, yes. Yes, score. Oh, please, win this. Get it. Mez it. Yep, well done. Uh, just made its way to Arteta. Kashalny finds Walcott. Walcott finds Ramsey. Oh, what a pass by Ramsey. He had the composure to find Giroud, and he makes it 3-2. Like, most players would have took a shot and it would have missed. Like, it would have went near post, goalkeeper saved or whatever. But he had the presence of mind to find Giroud, who was all by himself. And there's plenty of time to score at least one more. Definitely, yes. Oh, <laughs> we could make it 3-3 with a mass of time left. Johnson, under pressure, gives away Arteta. Giroud! Giroud! We're back from the dead! Hattrick hero, Oliver Giroud. I thought we were dead and gone. Whoa, <laughs> oh, what a game this is. And there's a real possibility that we could still get the three points. Giroud, he brought us back. <laughs> oh, And you can tell Gladbach, they're under pressure. 20 minutes here. We have the opportunity and we're playing... Oh, Walcott's just not having a good game. Maybe we could take off Walcott. Depends what happens here. Imagine if we take the lead. And I don't want to stop playing this way now. Not to hold on for the draw. Oh, no, but they have a chance, though. They have a chance. They have a chance. Oh, and they wasted it. Yeah, I reckon Walcott. And we'll bring on Joel Campbell. Walcott's just not playing well. Joel Campbell, there we go. And then we can use his role inside forward because he is left-footed and he'll cut in. That suits him. And, yeah, he's on scoring form. So if we're going to look for that winner, he could be one. You have ability to make the difference. And we'll see if he can show it once again. If he steps up again to score, just do something. I'll, I'll be really impressed with him. Uh, but obviously, he wouldn't replace Walcott for his position uh, permanently. Walcott's been important. But yeah, even if we just take a draw here, we yeah, came back from the dead. <laughs> Pretty much, that's one way to put it. Uh, we're playing good football this way, but maybe we'll go overload. We'll completely go for it. It's crazy going overload away from home. But yeah, um, sometimes you have to do that. Take more risks. Pump ball into the box. So we're playing more narrow now. Closing down, we'll leave that on less, I guess. Yeah, more expressive, run from positions, we're doing that. And yeah, go route one, all of that right now. Even pass the ball into space. Look for the overlap um, from those fullbacks and shoot on sight. So all those there. We're going for it. 
It's just a matter of if there's enough time. It will be crazy if we do, but I'll be completely content that we got out of that dangerous situation. 100%. But we could have opportunity. Oh, yes, it falls to Arteta. This will be the greatest comeback for me in FM16 so far. I've had great comebacks in past football manager games, but I can't get too ahead of myself because they've got the ball now, but they don't know what to do with it. It's Stindl. Oh, no, he plays it through to Raphael. This guy's been dangerous, and there's going to be a chance for them. We just have to defend it. Okay, so that wasn't an opportunity for us, so that's a bit disappointing. So maybe it is going to end. Maybe a last final team talk. We'll go passionately. Oh, what are we going to say? Get creative. Maybe create something late. Create something late before the game is over. Can we do it? Just one more to make it exciting. Nah, they're not going to show a highlight. Yeah, that's going to be the game. Okay, Murder Saka disappear. Well, I hope there's not a chance. Yeah. But that's going to be it. Uh, I just felt... Oh, Yeah, I just felt there should have been something else, like a chance for us to score a winner. I just feel, yeah, that's a bit disappointing, but um, yeah, we <laughs> we somehow picked up a point from this game. What a comeback, you got to say. But yeah, I just felt, yeah, those kind of situations, there should be another chance. Obviously, it's not scripted, so maybe not. But yeah, it would have been nice. Would have been nice to see that. They had a lot of shots, 10 on target, but I would have been, uh, I wouldn't say, I would have loved to see a late chance, but I'm 100% content with coming out of that really dangerous position we were in. We looked just odds on to, yeah, lose that game for sure and quite convincingly. But that just shows the spirit, um, like football manager were putting that game down as a loss for me. But I had the ability as a manager to change things up and bring some players on and, yeah, avoid a loss and pick up a point and keep that first position in the group stage. So, guys, we'll leave that there. You can see we're first in the league. We're first in our group stage as well. Very, very nice. Also, Giroud on 16 goals. Average rating of 7.85. What else can you say? It's been a great start to the season. We're just at the start of November now. We just need to keep this form the way we're playing. Of course, we didn't beat Gladbach because of the situation we were in. Um, some goals we conceded. Yeah, I'm not so happy about, but we're able to come back that football we played in the second half late in the second half it was it was beautiful football we were playing uh, so we just need to maybe fix our defense away from home you could say that uh, in some games if we go to our fixtures and see our other away games well man united we did well mate well i guess our way yeah zenit we couldn't beat them so maybe just away in the champions league maybe that because yeah obviously it's a bit more traveling than just playing yeah away in the league but we did lose against newcastle uh five two but that was very early in the beta so i wasn't 100 percent sure about that but hope you guys enjoy the episode anyway oh you have to drop a like i noticed my football manager videos uh, don't get a lot of likes compared to um, the amount of views. So if you're watching this video, uh, please drop a like. Um, it makes me more happy the more likes on the video. Uh, but that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.